right, guys, welcome to the channel. We are, I'm in the Silverado. This is my 2022 Silverado. And it has, let's see, we have 77 miles on this. I've had this, I think, three or four days. One thing I thought was interesting when I got this was the DEF fluid tank wasn't filled up. I asked the dealer about it. And they're like, yeah, usually we put a little bit in there, but I think they overlooked it. So if I scroll over to, to the over button here, this is the info page. So I can kind of scroll up to different options. So my DEF fluid is just less than half a tank. I've only got, what, three and a half bars left. So I want to top it up just so I don't have to worry about it for, you know, the next three, 4,000 miles. So I'm just under half a tank. In the owner's manual, manual, it tells you how many gallons to add to get it up to full. All right, so that's mine. I've got three full bars and then a small one at the end. And then if you just look in the diesel, the Duramax supplement gauge, uh, this is the book. So it tells us if we're looking at, this is our, where we're at right here. We need to add approximately 3.5 gallons to get it up to full. Probably is around six gallons total capacity. Let's see what it tells us the, the total capacity here. All right, so our DEF tank is actually filled up right here next to the diesel tank, just the blue, the blue uh, cap here. It says on here, Add Blue, which Add Blue is actually just a brand of DEF fluid, which I never even seen it in the store, so I don't even know where you get Add Blue. But on a previous diesel uh, vehicle, I thought that I had to get that specific brand, and you don't. It's just they're kind of advertising their own brand on the cap here. You can use any kind of diesel exhaust fluid, and you can even use it at the pump. You can go to the pump. A lot of semi-truck uh, filling station islands have it right at the pump, which is very convenient because this truck can also take the big semi-truck full f uh, f fill nozzles. So you can fill up this truck at those fast fill diesel stations, and you can top off your DEF tank. That's what I'd normally do. Uh, the, I didn't, I didn't want to take it. Even the dealer's close to my house, and they offered like, oh, hey, bring it back in, and we'll, we'll fill it up for you. Sorry we overlooked that, and that's fine, but... Honestly, it's just it's going to be a waste of half of half of my day to go over there, wait around, have them fill it up. It's just it's just better just to you know forget about it, do it, do it myself. So, I was at the store. I was actually at the local Walmart, Walmart today, uh, doing some other shopping, and so I picked up two gallons, actually two two and a half gallons, so five gallons total of this uh, Super Tech. This Super Tech exhaust diesel exhaust fluid. Now, when you buy it in the jugs, you want to make sure that the dates are pretty recent. This actually has a date stamped on here, 4-13-22. Today's the 27th, so it's only, you know, less than, you know, just over a week old since it was manufactured. So it's, this stuff's still pretty fresh. You don't want to get, if, if you go to a store and see that it uh, has, you know, dust all over it and it's got a, an older date, don't buy that. Don't put it in. You just, this stuff has a short shelf life to it. So... The stuff that you get at Walmart, the Super Tech stuff, usually is never in stock. It's always out of stock because it's cheap. It's like 11 bucks. I think this was around $11 for the two and a half gallon jug. I got two of them. So I'm going to add, I need to add about three and a half gallons. So I'll add all of that and then a gallon from the other one. Top it up. That way I'll be good to, good to go. I'll probably use the rest of it in my diesel Yukon as well because I don't want this stuff just sitting around. My, I want to I use it all. So if you have to buy it in the jug, make sure it's fresh, make sure it's recently dated, and you don't have to buy the Blue Def, you don't have to buy the brand name stuff. This stuff here works just as fine. It's the exact same formulation, it's all the exact same stuff. There's a certain percentage that it has to be of urea, and there's another another component in there. It has to, for it to, for it to call itself DEF fluid, diesel exhaust fluid, it, ha it, it has to meet those standards. So this is approved for all diesel exhaust fluid system so there's no reason to, to buy the most exp the more expensive kind just get the cheaper kind you can find as long as the dates good let's put it in all right so these jugs have a nozzle these are sealed so you want to make sure that they are sealed so just lift this lift this cap up make sure that the seal's good on there so we're just going to screw our spout on also, the jug says not to reuse it, so don't reuse these for the exhaust fluids. I mean, this might be good to, you know, recycle some old oil in it or something, but don't reuse this for exhaust fluid again. All right, we just take our cap off. 
Just let that sit right there. I just have a, a rag that I can use to catch if any, any of this is going to spill. It shouldn't. Okay, we just put our spout in. Yeah, it smells like vinegar. Probably the urea. All it is is urea and water. All right, I just poured in that two and a half gallon jug and I'm just checking the truck to see how the gauge is measuring it and it's showing it's uh, two bars from full. If I go back to the manual, it also shows two bars from full, one gallon left. So that's the right amount. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put in uh, one gallon from that other one and it should be all the way full. All right here in the back of the diesel supplement, our diesel exhaust fluid tank is seven gallons, so seven gallons is the total capacity. If it was 100% empty, that's how much it would take. So, all right, now let's add this second jug. I'm only going to add a gallon, so I kind of have to guess how much I'm going to add. So about a third. So filling it at the pump would be easier because it's just the the. The pump will just automatically turn off when it's full. This, you kind of have to guess how much to add, when to stop pouring. You don't want this stuff pouring out of the fill spout here. I don't want to overfill it. But it makes a mess. It leaves like a white residue behind. The problem, too, this jug is actually not transparent, so I can't really see. If I had to guess, that's probably about half. I'd probably put a little bit more than a gallon in. So let's start it back up and so see if we're full. All right, let's see where we're at on our gauge here. Okay, which show's full. I think I put in a little, mo little bit more than a gallon, so Probably about half of that jug. It didn't overflow, which is good, so there's probably a little bit of uh, reserve, probably in the filler neck. There was some. All right, that's how we fill up the death tank. That should last me, I don't know, I'd say four to 5,000 miles approximately. Usually it should last about an oil change, but um, I guess we'll see. It depends if you're doing a lot of towing, if you're consuming a lot of fuel, you know, it's going to go down, but kind of keep an eye on it see how long that full tank lasts us we have 77 miles on the truck right now and I would expect it should last till 5,000 miles I, I would guess that's how that's how it has in my past my past truck that I had so all right so that was pretty straightforward the the def is it's easy to do it's kind of a hassle buying the jug lugging it around pouring it in especially if you need more than two and a half gallons if you just need three and a half like I had to use half that so Going forward, I'm going to use the pumps. So every time, like when I'm stopping or when I'm traveling or driving around town, if, I, if I'm near a truck stop uh, fuel station, diesel fuel station, I'm going to stop there, top off my dev tank, just because it's going to be less of a hassle. And usually it's cheaper per gallon at the, at the stations versus this. The Supertech is, is probably the most affordable brand you can get. But it's definitely cheaper to buy it at the pump than the blue than the blue def or some of the other brands. So, anyways, hopefully this was helpful or entertaining for you guys. Uh, we'll, I'll kind of keep you mon up to date on how the def consumption is. But it's just it, it's, this is one of the things you have to deal with with the modern diesel engines. You have to fill up this def tank. So, you also don't want to run if you run too low, the truck goes into limp mode. It gives you all these warning, and you can eventually get to the point where the truck will not start. So. I am always, when I get to half full, I'm always like, oh, I, wa I want to top it back up because you never know, like if you have to do a last minute trip somewhere or drive a long distance, you just, I just don't want to ever have to be in a position where I'm stranded or can't drive the truck or I'm at limp mode or half speed because of the def tank. So just keep it topped up. And I'm going to do that with the, uh, at the diesel fuel station. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.